Okay, this is one of our my spare diesel heaters. I'm going to fire it on, and the idea is I want to hear the pump. So I want to film the noise the pump makes because I've got an idea. And I've ordered one of these. I'll put everything in the description down below if it works. Okay, this is a waterproof box. Let me show you. All right, and I've got some other stuff coming, and I'm going to try and make this as quiet as possible with the original pump if this works. So I'm just going to let it go up. I'll put the exhaust outside. Okay, so it's all a bit of move that. There we go. And I'm just going to wait for it to kick up. If it does, if there's enough battery power, because it's an old battery. If not, I'll change the battery and we'll start again. So just bear with me. <laughs> it's pretty loud. I can't think where the pump is. I think it's this side. So I'll, just, I'll shut up and just listen for a second, okay? We're six inches away. So this one is a, um, well, a diesel heater, of course. This is the 12 volt, five kilowatt ones, okay? You can feel it vibrating on the case. So the idea is I want to insulate this uh, with rubber and inside and get the pump out of here put it into here and see how quiet I can actually make this diesel heater as it is no modifications to the actual heater inside or anything just to the pump you gotta admit that's pretty noisy and the case is vibrating right. that's all we need Don't smoke a bit that's fine right I'm going to End it here for now, and then, well, I'm going to first of all I'm going to take the pump out, so I'll show you all that. Because the noise of the fan and everything else, it gets the pump gets quieter, but the, the everything else gets noisy. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to stop it, but not till it reaches temperature. I want it to shut down properly because I don't want to cause any soot or anything actually in the heater. And you can see this work. This is only been, this is its second time in fired up. I think yeah. So we're still burning off rubbish off the um, exhaust. All right, so. I'll come back to you in a sec. On the review side of this, by the way, um, I was going for a talking one. They do a talking one, but I couldn't find it, but I will get one eventually. But this is hot. This has only been going two minutes, if that, and this is very hot. It's not a bad bit of kit. And I'm very tempted to put it in my daughter's house and put the actual flu, which lives in a very, very cold flat, and put the flu up the chimney, but it'll all have to be sealed CO2 tested and all that first, but it's not a bad bit of kit review wise. It's a five kilowatt, it's hot, the dial's quite easy to use. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Anyway, let's on, go to shutdown mode and then there we go. Show you the display. That's it to get to the pump just undo the clips pull them down each side is four be careful of that one because it's by the exhaust and then pull the casing off it just slides over the top I don't think you, you might have to take the cap off yeah there we go it does come off without taking the cap off okay so there's the pump probably a little bit bigger than what I was expecting in the box but I'm going to try and make it fit I mean if you have to buy a bigger box you do but this is only an experiment, but I think we're going to get this to fit in here. So I'll wait till it all switches down, powers down. I'll take the pump out, make sure it's dry and clean, and then I'm going to start the experiment. Well, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to utilize this bit as well, the rubber. To release the power on the pump, just push the clip in with your finger. And pull. That's it. Just put that out of the way for now. Then you need to pull this one off. And then we need to undo this one. Okay, pull the bottom pipe off. You're gonna get a little bit of residue of diesel and you wanna keep it upright because it'll leak otherwise. All right, come down here, you're gonna get diesel everywhere. And then you should just be able to, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Mm -hmm. Slide the pump out. Okay. You got hold on. 
actually turn the turn the uh, tank on its end and then you'll definitely not get any leaks right so we're going to get this off and then we're going to start a little bit of a, a play on getting this pump to fit in that box okay that's off pretty straightforward just just held it and turned it just turned the rubber so use a spanner or whatever you want to do mine just came undone quite easy so what i'm going to do i'm going to paste the pump in so it fits so this the, the jet at the bottom, or the, the nozzle at the bottom, will come out about midway here. So I'll mark it, and then I'm going to put it like so. And this will go right flush against here, so I'll have a, a hole just big enough for that, and the um, not the nipple, and then the hose to fit. So big enough for that. I think it's what? Uh, 10 mil? I think I'd pick 10 mil, just about 11 mil. So I'll drill that. So that's for the hose to go inside here. Then I'll make the pump. Probably just a side here. And then I will drill a section down. So this part of the pump slides down here. And then the lid will go on. And then we'll work on insulation when it comes. Sorry about the noise, got the heater going. Um, so using spade bits, or whatever you want to call them, focus I've just gone through there at an angle because we're doing it at an angle and then the pump so in focus yeah can fit like that for now a little bit that's it and then I'm gonna line it up now with the front part is about there because I want that to clear about there can you see that that's the idea I'm gonna drill Probably a 8mm hole for that. Okay, what I have purchased, I'll show you now. This is, I think it's 6mm, 4mm, 6 I think it might be 6, 5 or, I'm not too sure, 5 or I don't know. Mill rubber matting. And I'm going to sand it down a little bit, cut a couple of strips off, and I'm going to put that around the body of the pump. Okay, what I've just done is made that hole a bit bigger, because I want to allow for some of the pipe to go through like so and I want that to support so this um, well it depends where it ends up this might be on the outside here I think like so and that will support the pump with the rubber I've just cut a piece of rubber now like so and I'm gonna I'm gonna you could glue it but I've, I've got that special tape that you um, it bonds to itself I'll show you that now well, that's what I'm going to do. And this is the tape. I'll, sh I'll start doing it and you'll see what I'm going to do. So the more you stretch it, the tape, it will eventually snap. But if you don't, if you just stretch it like so, you'll see that it actually, and then it bonds to itself. And when this is bonded, it does take a lot of getting off, I can assure you. Okay, so I'll start this in, and then I'll do another bit. You see that? Sorry. Just stretch it. And then... self bonds. Right, I'll put a link in the description for the tape down below, and the rubber mat as well, if this works. Okay, so one of these little studs here where the screw can go, can you see them down the bottom there? I had to just drill that level so this would go and sit in, all right? You can see that next to draw an outline of the box and the base. Just there, there you can see that, yeah. I'm gonna cut that out now. You just use a pair of scissors. Just round the corners off to make them look a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Maybe a bit too much, but don't matter. Maybe a bit of fun. So I sanded down both surfaces and then I've added some contact adhesive just spray on. I'll let that go a bit tacky and we'll put them together. There you go. I'll put a new sole on your shoe. <laughs> All right. So now we have another slight dilemma is um, this to fit. Now the, the, the lid will go on because it's quite a, a deep, a, 
quite a depth to the lid, but we're going to have to allow for this at the end. So I'm going to cut a piece out of here and then we're going to have to snip this off and take off the retaining screw because it's not going to go anywhere. Once this is in, this, this can't come off unless I take the lid off and then pull it off, okay? So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cut a groove in here to fit this, the housing for the power, and then I'm just going to snip these off with a pair of snippers and I'll show all that when I come back. When I come, I'll, I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, so I took the clip off, just snipped them off with a pair of scissors, put a groove in the lid, and that fits just a little bit tight, but that's what we want. Because once that's screwed down, the pump's not going anywhere. So now I've got to connect it all up. Oh well, first of all, what I'm going to do is put some extra rubber. I'll show you that. Hold on one second. I've got some other piece smaller than this, well, longer than this, but I'm going to put some rubber down the sides as well. Okay, top hose on. I'll put the bottom on in a minute. Okay, there we go so far. How is it going to work? I do not know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to fit it somewhere where I got it from. Well, I'll sort that out in a minute. Oh, sorry. I'll sort that out in a second. Could go there if I drop the wires down a little bit and see if the fuel tank fits. It's got to go at that sort of angle because you've got to have it at a, is it 35 degree angle? Something like that. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, let's see if we can get this. I might have to move that wire there a bit and drop that down. I can drop that and go down inside, I think. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. Fitted. I haven't put this on yet. I've done nothing without you guys, okay? So this is just an experiment. It's just a bit of fun. It's just to see how quiet I can get the pump. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but it's bolted on in two places. It's in, well, I think it overheats as well. I'm not too sure. Does this pump get hot? I do not know. Anyway, so let's get the uh, tank on. Um, I'll start it. I'm not even going to test it without you lot with me. So if it fails drastically, then yeah, it fails drastically. Okay, so let's have a play. Okay, a little bit tight on the, the tank, just sticking out a bit, but uh, we'll give it a go. So if you can see that the tank is just sticking out over the edge a little bit, so what you can do here, you can just shorten the pipe, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to put the cover on, let's see what it sounds like first, and then I can just shorten the pipe a bit, and then the tank will fit a little bit better. it fit a lot better, actually. Right, so let's get the cover on, a little bit of pressure, but it's all right, and then we're going to give it a go. A little bit of an awkward fit, but it's on, secure. Right, let's put the battery in, and then we'll extend the exhaust going through the door. Okie dokie, all connected, power on. H2. Six, six the highest. All right, let's wait and see, see what the pump sounds like. Remember before? Well, at the beginning of the video, how loud it was. Let's wait and see. Mm. Still noisy, isn't it? It's not bad, not as bad as it was really tinny before. get a bit going I would say it's quieter possibly half the amount I'll let you be the judge of that if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and a like um, yeah, it's better. I wouldn't say it's great, but I'd say it's a lot better. Anyway, take care. I'll put all the bits in the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, have a go yourselves. Take care, and we'll catch you in the next one.